Hey guys, welcome back to Brittany's Little Life. I'm Brittany. That's Cameron. <laughs> Sorry for all the noise. It's just he um he's he needs to be kept busy. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so I'm here today with an empties video. I've actually been wanting to do this, but I just kept like it's not that I kept pushing it off. I just had stuff every time I wanted to do it. I had stuff coming up and whatever. So. By the way, from my previous video, which you should go watch after this or before this, um, I had mentioned that my baby was sick. He was, We did take him to the doctor and found out he had hand, foot, and mouth. He is doing so much better, let me tell you. I mean, I'm starting to get a soy throat, but I'm hoping that it's just because this weather's crazy and not because I'm catching that because mama don't want to get that. All right. So this is just going to be in, I don't know if I'm going to be in any order with this stuff, so I'm just going to go. This is my first empties video, by the way. Alright, so this is uh, just a bunch of stuff, I guess. So we'll start with this. So the first thing I have here is the shampoo from um, Garnier Fructis. It's the paraben-free fortifying shampoo with argan oil from Morocco. Um, we got this big one because my boyfriend, when he comes home from work and he gets a shower, he works at an um, energy plant, so they move trash, so things get really gross and nasty. So he, um, he likes to just have some kind of shampoo. He doesn't even condition his hair when um, he has his work days because he knows he's just going to... Uh, shampoo it again and again every single day so he just gets shampoo and he buys this big one so that he won't got to worry about using all of my stuff because mama doesn't like when he does that all right and so speaking of that here's some stuff that I got these couponing um, I do I don't coupon all crazy like I wish I did um, mostly because I don't have the time to just go out and coupon when I feel like it and get what I want and do what I want but um and not only that I don't get the paper in the mail so I can't always make it out on a Sunday to go pick up the paper I want to get a prescription I guess you would call it for the, uh, prescription no subscription for the paper the Sunday paper to come to my house but I don't know why I haven't yet I really can't even tell you why because I don't know Maybe I should get on that. So yeah, this is the Aussie Mega Moist um, shampoo and conditioner. This stuff made my hair feel so nice. After I got like after I ha not after I got pregnant, after I had the baby, when I was pregnant, my hair was fine, and I wasn't really even taking my vitamins like I should have been um, because they would make me sick. Um, worse than I already felt, so I just didn't take them. But that's fine. My mom told me she didn't take vitamins with me either, so, because they made her sick. So, anyway, yeah, so, my hair's been really dry lately, and yeah, I do have, like, the, like, blondish in my hair, but I've got, last time I dyed my hair and, or anything, it was, the baby was a month old. He's now about to be nine months, so it's been almost eight months old since I've did my hair at all with anything, and I barely ever put heat to it, so that's why I don't understand why it's so dry. And I wash my hair. I probably wash my hair about twice a week, maybe. That's because it's hard for me to get a really long shower with having him now. So yeah. But this made my hair feel pretty good. Um, nice and soft. I loved it. Um, I would definitely repurchase this stuff. And the smell is pretty good. It smells pretty good. The only thing I don't like is the cap is really hard to open. And it always, like, cuts me a little bit. But, yeah. Other than that, it smells really good. I wish the caps were a little bit easier to open. Um, I went through an Herbal Essence Moroccan My Shine um, Nourishing Conditioner. I do not like the um, Herbal Essence for my hair. It dries my hair out. So, actually, what I do is when I... When I, uh, I got these couponing, I only paid like, I think I only paid like 75 cents for this, so that's why I got it, but, um, um, I know I don't like this stuff, so what I use is the conditioner, 
I'll use it as like shaving cream because um, I don't know I just think it works that way too it works well as a shaving cream as well as conditioner but I can't use that as conditioner because it still dries my hair out regardless of what I do all right and speaking of shaving I have the Gillette Venus sensitive razors three pack I always try to find like the six pack, but um, I actually had a coupon and I'm like, I think I just ran out and I bought them a few months ago. I kind of use one razor for at least a, I use it for, I use it until it starts to feel rough, if that sounds horrible, but once it starts to feel rough, I get rid of it and get a new one. The baby's on the floor. Um, so... I'm not one of the people that it'll because these are expensive so I'm and these are the only razors I can use I mean I have tried other ones like I did try the ones that are like the five um, the five blade I think it is from Dollar Tree they're not too bad it's just after like two uses they start to feel horrible so they're not I don't know if they're really worth your money but like for something as quick as like you're only going on vacation for a weekend and you're in need of razors that's kind of fine but as for like an actual like everyday razor, I wouldn't get it. So I love these. I've been using these since I was a teenager and I will continue to use them. And I know they always have the $3 off coupon. So I try to get that deal as well as like, I know sometimes ShopRite, which is where I go shopping for everything. Um, ShopRite sometimes has their uh, digital downloads in there as well. Um, another thing we went through was this Crest 3D White. I had bought like three of these with coupons um, at Dollar General because I find them to be cheap there than anywhere else I've ever went. And then to stack on the, I think it was a two or three dollar coupon for this. Um, it was a while ago. I don't know because we I we already went through one of them, but I. Um, I had one from Dollar, well, what happened was I had one from Dollar Tree already, like the doll ones at Dollar Tree, the, um, I think they're the 2.5 ounces, um, and then I got rid of that one, and that, this was before I decided to do an empties video, and then we used another one, and then I already had gotten that one, that was way before I decided to do empties, and then now there's this one, and I think we have one more left. Yeah, right. But yeah, I love that stuff. It's definitely a staple product that we buy and we will always repurchase this toothpaste and it always, and it tastes really good. I like the way this tastes. And this is the 3.5 ounce one. I know there's a bigger one. My brother buys the bigger one. All right. And then uh now this stuff I could do that stuff less, but some of this stuff is like a little bit random. Um, so we have the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear um, chapstick. Um, I know my boyfriend, he uses this. I don't use this because I don't like, I like Burt's Bees for moisturizing and whatnot and like when my lips are feeling chapped, I don't reach for Burt's Bees chapstick or whatever you want to call it, but I reach for more like the Blistex or whatever because it actually like if I have chapped lips, the Blistex clears up my lips like right away. So yeah, it's good for it's very good for moisturizing. I I love this product, this brand. Everything about this brand is awesome because they're all natural, but not really I just flattened out the box um not really something I go for when it comes to chapped lips is I would say but yeah anyway um plus it smells that smells really good too I love the coconut scents um I went through the two pack of scotch tape from um Dollar Tree you were able to purchase this during the holidays I'm not sure if they still have it there they might um I haven't been there in a few days so Alright, and then I have, we went through a pack of 
band-aids these are the tough strips these are the kind that like if you have hairs anywhere and you stick them on your skin and you try to pull it off it'll hurt um that i know that's the only thing i don't really like about them but i like that they last longer when you need them to because they're so tough on your skin which that's the part that sucks but at the same time i just i enjoy the fact that they stay and don't fall off like as soon as you put them on because i hate band-aids like that like i hate cheap band-aids um so yeah we went through these because i get a little rough on my hands when I'm washing and cleaning, so I kind of screw myself up with that, but yeah. All right, so that's enough for the, uh, let me just show you this, even though it's not the same thing. Um, we went through the Clorox toilet bowl cleaner, cling, cl clinging, excuse me, bleach gel and thick coating formula. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I'm not a person who reaches for the cleaners that are natural at all. I didn't even buy this. I think my boyfriend bought this. But, um, yeah, we just went through it. Um, this stuff actually works pretty good. Like, I never had a problem, and I can't... I'm, I would buy the natural stuff if it wasn't so expensive. But, you know, I'm a mom on a budget because I'm a stay-at-home mom, and he works. So... If we can get stuff on a deal, if we can get stuff for cheap, I'm all about that. What are you doing, guy? Alright, and then I'm going to haul the... I'm going to haul. Yeah, because I'm hauling stuff. No. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Um, these are the Gerber Puffs in Apple Cinnamon. We go through puffs like every two days, I think. Like every two to three days. Um... Half of the container honestly goes on the floor and then he eats some of it, but we're inside of his high chair. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm tired. But right now he's having the other apple cinnamon. We also have blueberry. Um and he also likes the um they have a sweet potato one. They have a original um I have not given him the strawberry ones yet only because I'm trying to like stay away from stuff that he's allergic like people in the family are allergic to because I don't want to have to deal with him breaking out with anything although even though it's not to say that he would have an allergic reaction I just rather be safe and wait till he's older and we get him um, allergy tested before I give him anything that's like a big allergy within the family and his uncle which is my boyfriend's brother is I don't I think his allergies are right he's been alright with it but when he was younger he was really allergic to like strawberries and like red dye and stuff so I've been trying to like not give him anything along those lines excuse me that's not for you you have toys that's for mama <laughs> say hi that's not for you either. He's a mess because he ate and then had a bottle and then took a nap. So he's a he's a he's a messy mess, messy guy. Huh? Hi. I love you. <laughs> I love you. He's the best little guy. All right. And now this is totally. You know what? Wait. Let me show you the babies. The other baby thing because might as well since I just showed you an, a baby thing we go through these a lot as well unfortunately but um, this is the kind of formula I feed my child which is the hello which is the Similac Pro Advanced one second all right sorry anyway yeah so I give him the Similac Pro Advance, which has HMO in it, um, and it's really, it's like one of the best formulas um, next to breast milk. I was breastfeeding my baby the first two weeks of his, of his life, and um, I had complications where I had to stop breastfeeding, and when he was... He was a he was born through C-section, so when he was born, he actually was born with low blood sugar, and they had to. Since I was in recovery, I couldn't 
um, go right to him to put him onto my breast and I was so highly drugged um, that it, it was just too much and I wish I could have um, went right for because you're supposed to like attach them as soon as they come out I think so I couldn't do that so um, <coughs> they put him on this formula just because they had to, they had to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They had to, can't think of it, bring up his blood sugar or something like that, yeah. So, when I was pumping, which I pumped first to give to him because he was in the NICU, um, he was born with a bacterial infection as well because of me being in labor for so long. I was in labor for 25 uh, plus hours, like a little less than 26 hours, and I had, um, my water had broke first before I even got contractions, and I wasn't progressing at all, like I wasn't dilating at all. I dilated in those 25 hours, I dilated only 3 centimeters. So that's why they did a C-section, but because they kept going up and checking me, which I don't understand how they didn't know this, but um, because they went up and kept checking me and to make sure that I was dilating, um, it caused bacteria to go into me, which got bacteria in the um, amniotic fluid, which he swallowed, which caused him to have a bacterial infection. <laughs> it's a crazy story which turned into pneumonia. So he was in the hospital for a week and a half after he was born. Um, then what happened was when we came home, they kind of, they just told me to wash my incision, but they didn't tell me how to wash it. They just told me to wash it. And, uh, and like what soap to use, but they didn't say how I was supposed to do it. They didn't tell me, tell me I was supposed to let water run onto it and not actually touch it. Well, well, I was actually touching my incision and washing it, which that caused an infection. Then on top of that, I also had an infection from um, being constipated, TMI, but oh well, we're all human. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I had an infection from that too as well. So um, that's, I had a double infection in my incision and that caused me to have to take, obviously, antibiotics. Well, the one was fine. The one uh, antibiotic I was taking for the one infection was fine to breastfeed on. But the other one, they gave me um, the one that I could breastfeed on. Um, but the thing is, I was allergic to it, unfortunately. So, because of that, I had to switch to the stronger one. So, I couldn't breastfeed on that. And... In that time of all that craziness happening, my breast started to dry up and I was barely producing anything. I was doing everything between the teas, the food, the everything. I was trying so hard to to make my to produce more and I couldn't. It just wasn't happening for me, unfortunately. But so that's why I just resorted back to the same formula they were giving to him in, in the hospital. What happened? Alright, now that I'm done my little story here um i have a couple of food items but not really food they're in the boxes i have the vanilla cream puffs from dollar tree i love these things <coughs> bless me he's sitting here laughing and standing up on me um i love these things they come with eight in a pack all you do is um to eat them is you take them out of the freezer and you just let them sit and just get room temperature and I've even eaten them before they even got room temperature and they were they were pretty good they were pretty good cold and I have to grab him he's being a nut trying to stand on top of me what are you doing what are you doing crazy man <laughs> um another one I got were these fruit and yogurt bars from, also I got these from Dollar Tree, but they're the Tasty Cake brand. Um, I love these. I grew up eating these. Um, I lived in Philly, and we had the corner stores um, everywhere. I don't live there now, but I did. 
and um, I would always get these from the corner store because they were only like 75 cents I think um, then I have uh, the tasty cake peanut butter candy cakes in dark chocolate I can't tell you how these taste, but my boyfriend seemed to like them. He eats those. I cannot have chocolate. I've said that numerous of times. Um, unfortunately, I'm allergic to cocoa. But, yeah. Um, these were also purchased at Dollar Tree as well. Next thing I have are these Nutty Bars. These are the Christmas ones, the North Pole Nutty Bars. I was so, I had, I bought three boxes of these. I was so excited because the normal Nutty Bars are chocolate and I can't have it. So when I found these, I was like, I gotta get them. So I bought three boxes of them and I'm, I'm finally out. Um, they are so good and they just, it felt so good to be able to have something that wasn't chocolate. Like there's no cocoa in these at all. And that's what I can't have so I have to look out for anything even if it says it's white chocolate if it has cocoa in it I can't have it all right so the last few things I have are candles I have loads of candles all right so first one I have is the Pillsbury and this was the um, chocolate chip cookie one it smells kind of like it smells good but it smells kind of weird it's one of those candles and I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this but it's one of those candles that like when you smell it like this it smells gross like weird I don't know how to explain that but when it's burning it smells good <coughs> can you sit down next to me my throat is starting to kill me I hope I'm not getting sick seriously um we have a few more uh, next one I have is the old Williamsburg sugar plum it it was alright it didn't really have a throw like the throw was kind of horrible honestly it didn't really have a good one at all I just thought it was like it smells really floral then it does fruity if that makes that's like weird I don't know but I always repurpose these jars. That's one thing I always do. I love repurposing these mason jars. Right now I have bobby pins in one of them. I think I have a hand scrub in another. And I have a bunch of empty ones. I haven't decided what I'm doing with 100% yet. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Hold on. He fell on your butt. Oh no. <laughs> he stood up and fell right on his butt. Oh, what a little scissor. All right. Um, next ones I have, I have two of these. I have these little candles. I have two of these. Excuse me, sir. Don't do that. This boy. So, you see that they're blue. They're like that it's like that farmhouse blue color. Um, which I I feel like these were meant for like the farmhouse look, like that's what they're for because when you smell they're blue, but when you smell them, they smell like literally they smell like pine, like pine trees, like Christmas Christmasy pine trees. So, I think that this was meant for that, but I don't know. My best friend gave me them in like my little birthday gift she got me. Um, so she got me two of them and I burned those right away. They had a pretty good throw, honestly. They really did. They smelled really good. Um, another one I got was this Mary Berry Clementine. I got this from someone for Christmas last year and I just finished burning it this year. Because I stopped burning it for a while and then I just kind of let it sit away and then I pulled it back out again but I just finished it. It smells really good and it smells so good burning and but it does give a lot of uh, what would you call this? I don't even know what you call that stuff but but this is by the Ashlyn. I'm not sure who they are. Yeah I'm not sure who, who what brand this is or where these are even sold at. I have no idea. They were just given to me like I said. Um, another thing I got or candle I have is this um, 
Changing Leaves Rustic Woods and Autumn Spice um, True Living Candle. It's, this smells so good burning. Um, and it's such pretty fall-like flavors. I got this at Dollar General for five bucks. Um, and it smells so good. And I just love the colors. Like, But it's so weird that it didn't burn this wax. But it like burnt through. I don't know. Oh, and one last thing. <laughs> this is so random because I'm a weirdo. But I I purchased this little um, elf sculpting foam um, just because I was curious of what it felt like from the um, Target's dollar spot. Let me tell you, it's weird and it's super cheap and it sucks, but it was like fun to play with for a little bit. But it's definitely like one of those things like if you open it after you're done playing with it, throw it out. Because it's literally, it doesn't stay dry or it doesn't stay like moist it gets all dried up and nasty and horrible it's, you can't eat everything you're always trying to eat something oh <laughs> it's the end of the world for the guy it's the end of the world for you all right guys well that was my aunties um hopefully i have more if not at the end of this end of january I might do them like every two months because I don't run out of stuff that fast because I am visiting grandparents a lot with the baby and my boyfriend works a lot so we don't run out of things that quick. So, why? So, um, yeah, I might do one. Whoa. Buddy, you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I might do one in uh, February. So, these aren't going to be a... Uh, regular every month thing so maybe every two months all right well <laughs> like if you want to see this smushy smush smush again and if you think he's cute and subscribe and we'll see you guys again in another video hi It's the end of the world for this boy. Bye, guys.